Do you have the courage to get what you want? It takes courage to achieve your goals, man. It takes courage to be successful. It's scary. Being like everyone else, doing what the masses do and following the herd, that's easy. It's easy to be comfortable. It's easy not to try. It's easy to give up. It's easy to stand on a fucking sideline and watch while other people with courage go out and get all the shit for themselves that you want for yourself. It's easy to look at these people and make excuses as to why they can do what you can't and say things like, yeah, that's because they've got this and that, or I'd do it if it wasn't for this and that. All that shit's easy. And let me tell you, if you don't want to make waves or you're scared what people think, then you better prepare yourself for a life of mediocrity. You better dress like everyone does, walk and talk like everyone does, because as soon as you start to stand out, they're going to try and pull you back in. And it takes courage to push through that. As soon as you start to change, and I'm sure some of you have tried and tried a lot, you're going to get these people that want to keep you where they are. Because if you outgrow them, you're leaving them behind. And then they'll have to admit to themselves that it's possible. And that's the scariest thing in the world for them to do. Because that shit takes courage. That shit takes balls of steel. You need courage to change your life. Courage is needed to face your fears. To step out of your comfort zone and say, that's it. I'm done. No more. No more will I take this shit. No more will I live like this. No more will I let people treat me like this. It takes courage to fight back. It takes courage to get what you want and to start changing your stars. You have to go into it with the knowledge that it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be a fucking battle. Not just any battle. Not just some bitch fight on a playground. This is a fight of life and death. And it takes courage to face that shit. But you've got it inside you, I know it. I believe you can like I believe I can. And I make these videos and do these talks to try and get it across to people that ain't yet got the courage themselves that they can do anything they want to do. If you just have the courage. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it. But the choice, that's yours to make. There's enemies all through life. People that hurt you, people who lie to you, people that cheat on you and people that beat you. But there is only one enemy that can destroy you and that's the enemy within. This enemy you can't escape, you can only tame because it lives inside your head. It enjoys trying to destroy you, convincing you that you're nothing, that you'll never be nothing, that you came from nothing and you'll never get out. You're never going to change. You're never going to achieve your dreams. You're never going to make a difference. You're never going to get what you want. The enemy within feeds you this poison on a daily basis if you let it. For me, I picture the enemy within in a round cage in my mind. And it's circling this cage, but it never takes its eyes off me. It's baiting me, waiting for me to step into that cage with it so it can once again overpower my mind with its negativity. All its lies, all its paranoia, all its stress, all its depression, all its anxiety. You know what that cage is called? It's my comfort zone. I've found that when that enemy within is at its strongest and most powerful is when I'm comfortable and not striving to get better. The best way to keep it in check is to work on yourself daily. Work on the way you look at the world around you. Look at solutions rather than focusing on all the problems. Don't listen to its lies about what might happen if you try that new thing and just try it. You do this and you are constantly getting stronger than that enemy within. Bigger and stronger so it's no match for you. You're fucking unstoppable. But never forget this, you cannot beat the enemy within, you can only tame it. You can only make sure you work on your mind like a muscle in the gym, so you remain bigger and stronger than it. But that enemy within will always be there, circling in that cage, staring at you, waiting, silently waiting for you to slip up. So keep it in check, work on yourself daily, and never give in. Every single day we are all faced with fears. Opportunities that appear throughout our day-to-day -day lives and the easy thing to do is to just walk away. These fears can be anything from applying to a job, telling that person how you feel, taking that first step. What I've found in life so far when I think about it is all of these things normally have one thing in common. The fear that you might fail. What if I apply for that job and I don't get it? What if I tell that person how I feel and they don't feel the same? What if I take that first step doing whatever it is and I get hurt? 
The fear of failure is rooted deep in all of our subconsciouses, but most of us don't even know it exists. We go about our day to day telling ourselves the reason we aren't doing the things that we should be doing is because some bigger fear, some greater reason that actually doesn't exist at all. If you're listening to this now, I want you to consciously know from this day forward that the real reason you ain't doing what you should be doing and have the life you deserve is because subconsciously you're afraid to fail. You're afraid you won't get it. You're afraid they'll say no. You're afraid you'll get hurt. You're afraid you'll fail. Face your fears. Once you admit this simple truth and start getting real and honest with yourself, you'll start finding it a lot easier to deal with. Because let me tell you something, when you admit that it's failure you're afraid of, failure suddenly about sinners Don't think that I'll be a saint But I might go down to the river Cause the way that the sky 